3 is equal to height of image times 30. So we're dividing all through by 30. So the height of the image, 3 will go into this and 0 will cancel this. The height of the image now is 1, 150 centimeter. Now we've gotten the image distance. We now know the height of the image after the object was being reflected on the convex lens. Now let's now calculate the focal length. Let's now calculate the focal length. I am going to give a particular video. I'm going to do a particular video on how we know what focal length is, principal focus. We know what a real and apparent image is and what have you. So now let's know what the focal length is. By my formula or by the formula, 1 over the focal length is equal to 1 over the distance image plus 1 over the object image. It's very simple. Now we do not know our focal length, but we know what the image distance is, which is 1500 plus our object distance, which is 30. I see. So now let's look for the LCM. It's very easy. So 30 times 1, 30, 1500 times 1, 1500 over 1,500 times 30, we have 4,045,000, yeah, which is equal to 1 over F. So this is just a, a primary way of solving it. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you know about LCM. So we have 1 over F is equal to 30, Plus 1,500 over 45. Just like we did the other time, we'll cross multiply. This will times this and this will times this. So we have 45,000 is equal to 30 plus 1,500. We have 1530F. So 30, 30 plus 1,500, you have 1,530, then times F, because we're cross-multiplying. So divide both sides by 153, 0F, 153, 1530. This will cancel this. So you have F is equal to 4,500 4, divided by 153. So this is the final answer. Whatever you get after this, after dividing 4,500, it's your focal length. Thank you very much. And do not forget to like and subscribe this channel. And also make comments on how we can improve this particular video of ours. God bless you.